this is how to do the solo tombstone duplication glitch. With this glitch, you can load into a lobby with all of the items that you want to save in your tombstone and keep all of your gear and weapons. While doing this glitch, firstly, you're going to load into a game and if you don't have tombstone on your map, that's fine. If you do have a tombstone set the steps from here are anyway the same. So I recommend that you put a tombstone can in your inventory so you can duplicate it. So now if you have a set tombstone, you're going to take everything out of it so that it crumbles. From here, you're going to make way over to the building next to the bad signal portal. You can follow my path over to where this portal is on the wall, and enter the code that I show on screen and then activate the portal before you run away from it, and just follow the way onto the roof so you can jump over to the bad signal portal. You're going to activate the bad signal portal and make your way to the teleport portal. If you use a scorcher, it makes the timing extra easy and impossible to mess up. Anyway, you don't need a scorcher to do this, you can just run over to the portal and you will still make the timing. You will now enter the portal and after you teleport, you're going to run along the edge of the map where, and you will open your map and then vote yes to teleport. A countdown will then appear on your screen and you must go out of bounds right as the 6 shows on your screen, and then you're just going to wait to teleport. Anyway, this is super easy to do. It's only a couple of steps and not that hard at all, so you will get the teleport screen and then the eliminated screen and that means that you have now set your tombstone. Now normally you will get a black screen and it's going to show the dark ether zombies in the top left corner as soon as you see it say that in the top left corner. This is when on all platforms you can just force quit your game. However sometimes you may get a few different screens. As long as you saw the eliminated screen, you should be good to go. So just force quit after the eliminated screen goes away and you should be fine. When you start a new game, you will have all of the items that you had in your inventory and you will keep all of your gear. And then when you go into your next game, your tombstone will spawn at the graveyard and all of the items in your inventory are now duplicates so you can use them to play out your game normally or share them to others. Either way, at the end of your game, you're going to go back over to your set tombstone and repeat the entire process to keep your max money tombstone with all of your duplicated items. Like this video to help support the channel and subscribe for more of the guides. I'll see you guys in the next video.